one uh, till what do you mean by mime activities yes you can raise your hand okay what is mime m i m e mime okay that means acting okay we'll do all acting so based on our acting skills whatever we act he or she has to identify what occupation we really thought for him is that clear yes, okay sir. how many of you have played this game you can raise your physical hand up up there because i can see all of you right now although there is a presentation sir, what, kind of game? At least, sir, what kind of game right now whatever i showed on the screen that game oh, how many of you playing? i played like this no I've... okay let's put it down okay now uh, someone has to volunteer Subrat, i cannot see you your video camera i know i'm presenting but averagely most of the people i can see okay aditi also i can't see okay good morning leon sir good morning sir good morning good afternoon sir good afternoon sir good afternoon to all just a small request okay? so when the teacher is teaching please uh, kindly request all the students to concentrate in the class okay Okay, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. The main thing is that uh, the teacher has uh, the the teacher is planning and the class is going on and the full class gets disturbed. That, that's the main reason. Okay, just because of that. Fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. I hope you don't mind. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Sir. Okay, now. So I want one volunteer to just go out for uh, ten seconds. And then return back. So meanwhile, we'll just uh, think what. Okay, uh, who wants to go? Subha. Can I go? Okay. Sir, can I? Okay. Can I go? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Uh, Subrat, we have already decided for Subrat. So next time, somebody else when we have a different energizer. Okay. Uh, now let's think of one occupation for him. What can we uh, think for him quickly? Sir, engineer. Yeah, okay. Sir. Can you do that acting? Can you do that acting of engineer? Yes, sir. I don't know what we can do, sir. That Think something which you can do acting so that you can uh, understand. Ma'am, doctor, sir, doctor. Yes, sir, doctor. Okay, doctor. Doctor then. is easy. Okay, doctor. doctor. I think he's almost here. Let's not speak now. Sir, is it done? Yeah, it's done. We are ready now. They're uh, starting to do. Let's let us all start working, everyone. Okay, let's get into our work. Just one minute for him, okay? Everyone, let's get into work. We have decided that very quickly, right? Yes, sir. Start. Is that how to act? That is what I was telling. Is it easy, easy for you to act or not? Right. That's why. It's so easy. You have something itself with you. Okay. You can see Ashley says also. It almost looks like a doctor over there. Exactly. Shushil sir. Uh, yes sir. Sir, I think. Uh, can you see Aditi Shah? No, sir. Like uh, I was going to tell that. Uh, sir, yeah. you want to be sir. Yes. Uh, sir, her internet is slow, so she told us in the first class also. Scientist, yes, sir. scientist, scientist, scientist. Aditi, did he inform us? Sir, no, sir. It, it is not a scientist. Fine, fine. Okay, thank you. Okay, Sushil sir, please carry yes. on. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, now, Subra. No, doctor. No, doctor. How do you think it's a doctor? Sir, because of the <laughs> Okay, just wait. Okay, let's speak one at a time. Uh, let's speak one at a time. Uh, yes, Subra. Sir, because she used like that. Something no doctor used in or something, something like what? put in the chest. No. 
Chess movies. Okay, exactly. I think Doc Ellis is the hardest to do that. That's why I just. Okay. Okay. Is that exactly? Is it? Is it, is it your final answer? Yes, sir. My final answer. So that's your final answer. It looks like doctor. Do you all think that was doctor? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Someone is telling me, uh, is calling me. Who is yes, that? Please sir. raise your hand. Okay, now let's put all our hands down. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes if a teacher is uh, calling me or who is calling me there also. Yeah, at times. Like if please uh, raise your hand. Okay, Aditi, you can put your hands down if you want to say anything. Do you want to say anything? Sorry, sorry, it was okay. Okay. Because someone keeps on saying sir, sir, and it sounds like Keenan Ma'am is already inside and saying sir. And I told you I cannot. Uh, when I'm presenting the screen, I cannot see every one at times. Okay, uh, because of some things, maybe I I'm not been able to see everyone, but more or less I can see 16 people at a time right now on my screen. Remaining people I'm still working out. Okay, when I'm presenting, I can't see them. But you don't know whom, whom I can see exactly. Okay, now let's continue. So that was one exercise for you. So last time uh, we studied about different occupations, isn't it? So one was re regarding modern, and another was traditional. So in modern we had occupations like information technology. So this is a quick re uh, revision, okay? And in traditional we had farming. Uh, animal husbandry, horticulture, fishery, floriculture, uh, apiculture, handicraft, pottery, all these things are under traditional. And you were asked to find out what are the different traditional occupations adopted by people in your society and why are they following these occupations. Isn't it? Was there any difficulty to find this answer? Grade 6. No sir. no, sir. Okay, you can see on the screen, yes or no? So I, you were assigned one work to make a list of traditional occupations adopted by people in your society. And you already saw some examples of uh, traditional occupations on the screen. So if you're uh, near around this, then you can do that assignment. If you still have not done, then you can do that assignment. Try to still find out some more people working, the tra uh, working uh, traditionally. Okay, traditional occupations and find out why are they following. Do you remember the video that I showed you last time based on that um, blacksmith work? He told the reason why he had been following that. Yes or no? Yes, sir. I remember that. Yes, sir. I yes. remember yes. that. Yes. yes, you remember that and I have posted that even in your Google Classroom, isn't it? Yes, sir. So I posted that even in the Google Classroom. And in uh, Google Classroom, you could again, Anya is not there. <clears throat> he has left without any permission. Okay. I can see all of you. Please be looking at the screen, okay? Even though I'm presenting. Okay. So, all of you look at the screen. Look at me. Aryas, look, look straight into your screen. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yes. Okay, who's uh, telling, who's asking something? Excuse me or something. Oh, sorry, like I mistakenly left, I was going to mute my mic. Okay, please, yeah, mute, okay, mute, mute it then. Okay, so that is, that was the assignment. So is there any difficulty to, to do that assignment? Sir, no, sir. Okay, uh, so the, now, Please unmute yourself, okay, when you're not speaking. So this, you based on any of this traditional occupation, also you can find it out. Is that clear? Now, today, can you write down a difference? Uh, you can uh, look at your book, page number five, and write down the difference between modern and traditional occupation. I'll give you two minutes to write it down. Just third definition, just some difference. Oh. Yes. Sir, you gave an assignment. Yeah, it was showing repeated assignment. Yeah, in one of them, I wrote the same thing again uh, for reflection. And I told, uh, don't do the both of them, just do one of them only. Okay, when I have to do this, one is due today. 
and another one is due in 15th May. Yeah, whatever was the before one is the due date. Second one was again kept thinking like I, because it was kept for another section and I posted in both at the same time. Okay, sir. Okay, so that was a little mistake and five of them had already done. If I, if I delete that, then what happens is it's a problem. So before uh, I change that, five of them had already submitted that. So then I couldn't delete. If I delete that, then their assignment uh, goes here and there, right? Okay, so write a difference in your copy between modern and uh, traditional. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. And make sure the camera is not off. Adipta and Rajiv, I can't see you. Sir, I can't see the screen. You and me, sir, once can you again present the screen? Hmm, I'm supposed to write. Sir, once can you present the screen again? Yes, I've already presented it. Ma'am, yes, sir, you have not presented. No, it takes uh, five seconds. Once I tell you, it comes back within five seconds. the difference of modern and uh, traditional occupation. Yes, you did one activity for modern education. Yeah, I mean, this is modern is occupation. In which page number the difference is? <clears throat> page number five. It's not written exactly difference. You can take help of page number five. Uh, modern occupation and traditional occupation written in red color. <clears throat> So we have already discussed. Sir, how many we have to write? I just um, uh, how much you can within the time limit? Minimum one, two, two. Sir, I already wrote one. Sir, I will write okay. two. Sir, I can yeah, you can be two. writing uh, as long as you have time, and others are all uh, almost finishing. Okay, so uh, we have already done one activity regarding modern occupation, and you already understood what are the modern occupations, and similarly for traditional, you was given another activity to find the traditional and you already saw what comes under traditional as well so here we have a difference you can take a screenshot of it then uh, writing uh, during the uh, class for now for today okay uh, you can just take a screenshot it's the same thing so modern occupation does not have a very long history and is initiated and developed in recent time that's what is all about modern education modern occupation not education occupation and like we have information uh, technology based occupations again okay, modern occupation and same way traditional occupations uh, they have been adopted from long time okay they are taken on in other words occupations that are taken in a society from ancient period are traditional occupations so it has been that starting from long time you can just take a screenshot if you start uh, copying it will take time for you to understand right now okay so this is the difference between modern and traditional and our main focus is to understand about traditional are you clear so we have to try to understand about traditional so i'll show you what are the traditional like example an agricultural occupation that extracts wealth from mustard using coal coal so that is one traditional occupation so i'll show you a video based on this okay you can see a picture here traditional mustard oil making process in kokna how they have been doing and here I uh, this one link over here. Um, I clicked it here. I hope it opens. I hope it's not going to get, uh, go be hang. Okay. Uh, I will show you on my screen. Based on that one traditional occupation, so you will understand what is traditional occupation as well. Send you the link as well, but you can watch it on your own. And Google Classroom also, I'll be keeping it. Sir, and this, uh, sir, till now we have to do this activity one only. Yeah, write down the differences one. Okay, just wait again. Okay, what was your question? What was your question? Sir, I'm, sir I'm, I'm, I was saying that uh, till now you have given us only one exercise of in this class, yeah? 
or you have give another also sir no you will get a recording of that you can see in the evening okay if you missed anything in the middle you can see the recording if you have uh, missed out as well so here now can you see this uh, video on the screen yes sir. sir i can see okay so this video is about one one yes, traditional sir, mustard oil making process okay so it looks traditional and you see the way they have been working okay please turn off your uh, mic the sound is coming okay now here So how they are making that mustard well. see from well remaining part whatever is the residual they call something like ina or something okay in the body is remaining after well these are even used for cows and other things to eat afterwards they can use that again okay? this residual remaining is the well from where the well is coming out you can see the well is coming out from here can you see the well is coming out from here this part yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. okay so that's just to show what type of traditional technologies are there okay uh, how the people have been doing from the past so that's a type of traditional occupation last time also i showed you one video isn't it to understand traditional so now we have next activity over here yes, sir. yes. excuse me sir, okay, sir. Yeah. sorry your screen is not present sir, okay where's one question please raise your virtual hand so i can uh, uh, talk to you Okay, yes, Arya Mittal. Uh, sir, are these questions or the answers? No, no, please, do, uh, let's not all speak at the same time. Let's raise our hand, virtual hand, because if I ask someone and someone is so very, like, decent, and they wait for their turns and someone speaks in the middle, I cannot hear. Okay, yes, Arya? Sir, my eyes are red, sir, I'm leaving the class. I'm not being able to see the screen. Oh, your eyes are paining. 
Yes, sir. My eyes are red since morning. Yeah, okay. Were you in all the classes uh, before this? Yes, sir. Okay, if your eyes are paining, uh, okay, if it's paining, what you do is I'll not show you too much on the screen. Maybe you can just close your eyes and listen to me then. Is it possible that way? Just okay, close sir. your eyes and yes, just sir. listen. Just close your eyes if it's really paining because maybe that is best than leaving the class. Uh, I will excuse okay, you sir. for not if there's anything to see on the screen. Even listening will help you to understand. Okay? Like just close your eyes and sit. Close your eyes and listen. Okay, sir. That way, you know, I had one uh, one teacher in my school, in St. Javier's School, Jalakhel. He was Father Castro Miller. He was very, he's already very old right now. He used to close his eyes while listening, saying that he can concentrate more when he closes his eyes. And I used to think he was sleeping when I was, uh, like at one time when I had to uh, give some instructions for one program. I thought he was sleeping and later on he told me he normally closes his eyes, but I didn't observe that during the school time when he taught Hi. me. Yes? What is this you saw in the screen? Yes. So this we have to copy. Yeah, no, no, you don't have, okay, now you don't have to copy. We are going to talk about this uh, traditional occupations. I told you our okay, main, our main. Now all of you look at the screen. Can you all look at the screen? And uh, listen, okay. Uh, are yes, you, uh, listen. So we uh, saw already traditional occupation, two traditional occupation, and by now I think we have already understood what is the what is traditional occupation what are those and i'll be keeping more of those videos in google classroom and you can watch more of them okay we cannot be watching all during a class okay there are many videos you can watch like i saw, did little forward in some of the cases and please sit straight caviar let's sit, uh, sit straight okay so we have some importance of uh, uh, in some importance of traditional occupation okay like we have modern technologies which makes us work very fast and efficiently okay in modern technologies if we use those uh, modern technologies are so fast but still people are using traditional why do you think so why sir, do you think can i say uh, yes sir because this traditional occupation is our identity and if we leave our identity we will we cannot say that we always uh, we respect our culture and everything and this this uh, in the it is the modern occupation is a little bit complicated so the old people do not get the concept so uh, i think they choose the traditional occupation to do it okay yes very good now next uh, i have our own over there our own I was not raising my hand. Okay, you are raising your. Okay, Arya, are you trying to answer still? Okay, Arya. Yes, sir. Can you uh, answer sir, if you people want? People choose traditional. Uh, sir, people choose traditional occupation more than modern occupation because uh, uh, traditional uh, occupation is easier for the people who live in village and who are not educated. Whereas modern tech, uh, modern occupation can be a bit difficult for them because it is complicated and it has lots yes. of complex things. Yes, good. Okay, any others like you want to tell why do you think people are like uh, following this traditional uh, occupation still? anyone okay you can already see i've already uh, summarized the same thing we'll have an activity based on this right now okay like we explained so first thing is like it's like a primary source of uh, earning okay livelihood livelihood is for mainly the basic need okay for the local people local people are not so much educated that they cannot work with the modern technology it to all we using all the machineries to everything so traditional occupations are still like important in case of country like nepal like we have still rural places in Nepal, remote areas, okay, which still where they have not taken the technology. Can you all look front? Stop whatever you're doing. Edina, let's look front. Okay, okay, please. okay, and when like in case of like traditional occupation, if the people are working traditionally in the village areas and remote areas of the country, they can utilize those resources. 
uh, they can uh, utilize the local resources that's available in the village in the uh, local village they can have local resources such as like wood they can utilize those wood they can utilize those um, uh, various uh, things of the local area and that's why also traditional occupations play a very important role next thing like traditional occupation if they follow they it provides mainly the goods and services required to the society in that place if the people are doing that traditional occupations like uh, mustard oil or whatever you can see they can make oil and then they can uh, make it available same way with the blacksmith work same way with carpenter they can use utilize local resources as well as sell them so that's why these traditional occupations are still important and it conserves the culture okay local culture and tradition of different places different places have different traditional occupations like in case of uh, our last video last time we told that was the tradition yes or no based on that they are doing that tradition and that has become a very good occupation for them so this traditional occupation will really preserve and foster local technology whatever is the local technology like if we have traditional occupation they, they, they can conserve they can still conserve that culture of this if people stop doing this then they'll forget yes or no if people continue keep on doing then people will still like preserve it so that's why this type of uh, traditional occupations are important i'll show most more uh, i'll be uh, sending you the links of more traditional occupations in google classroom today so you can understand more of the traditional occupation is that clear now we have one activity yes anything confusing in this no sir now you will be given an activity based on this itself you'll have to draw relating to this you'll get one minute for each of this to draw what you understood by this okay try to explain in the form of drawing one minute for each okay uh, and you have to do serially now all of you in your copy you'll have to take a pencil take an eraser and get ready to draw the first point primary source sir, of and, sir sir and we have to copy the point also you you don't have to be copying the point you can just do it serially first point i'll give you one one minute for each okay whatever you understood you can make a picture and later on in the google classroom you'll have to take a photo and uh, send them all try to finish try to do all of them in same page okay all five of them six of them in same page for each you yes, sir, do you will uh, you will you will send this picture in the google classroom or not yes you will have to send it to me in the google classroom no sir i'm telling that will you send this picture like importance of tradition occupation traditional occupation will you send this all in the okay okay i will send it in the google classroom okay for now are you ready with the next activity okay same based on these pictures on the screen you have to just make a picture what you understood by this okay based on this just one picture that comes to your mind what do you see think feel wonder based on that just one okay, picture sir. of first act first uh, importance okay make uh, i'll give exit one minute no need to call her no no need to call her no need to do so much just make sure it's a very quick picture just something that you uh, think this is just an activity sir done sir and we have to write something sir you don't have to write something no you don't have to be writing picture picture is enough just do the numbering one okay sir okay do numbering one two three four five now okay now second uh, second picture make a picture where they are utilizing the local resources because it will help us to remember in the form of pictures okay localizing of local resources means sir utilizing of local like, resources yes wood whatever they are in the village uh, coal whatever they find in the village or remote areas something like that Two pictures. Okay? Twelve seconds. Eleven seconds left. 
I've kept a timer already here. Sir, sir, uh, you will you understand whatever we draw? No, rather than me understanding, you have to understand and remember later on. Okay, now third okay, importance, sir. where they provide goods and services to the society. Where they are uh, providing goods and services to the society. Let's remember in the form of pictures also and we will remember, okay? Sir, it is already time. Yeah, I know. We are just trying to finish this as well. Please do not leave the classroom. I am putting taking a record of that, okay? Do not leave until like uh, it's been told formally because you know the previous class also I couldn't exactly start on time. Just one two minutes. Just have patience. Okay, now next Sir, can picture. We draw another one. Yes, whatever it is now. Fourth one. In fourth picture, uh, draw something where you use so conservation of local culture and tradition. It doesn't have to be very fine art. Okay, something which you understand. One minute. We are not doing fine arts. Isuvi. Isuvi. Fourth picture yes, to show that you are conserving yes, local culture and tradition. Sir, I have already th think what to draw. Nothing. You have to draw it and uh, paste it in Google Classroom uh, after some time. Um, um, Fifteen seconds left. Do the exact one which I've been telling you, okay? Something just to help you remember and see what you understand. And we'll share them in Google Classroom and slide and all understand together as well. Now, fifth one, where they are using and preserving and fostering lo local technology, something where they are preserving. You can be any one of them, okay? So that they are preserving local technology or they are using your local technology. You already saw so many videos and everything, but just it doesn't have to be fine art. Okay, something which you understand. This is a picture pause activity. Okay, where you I just asked to quickly uh, make pictures so that you can remember. Finally, uh, one picture showing that traditional occupation is an identity of the country. So what is foster? Foster means to make it better. Sir, sir and what is it act as identity of our country? Yes, like how does it show our identity? Like that coal mill, uh, you can see Pani Ghatta. Yes or no? Those are like Sir, I will drop country. coal in this. Yeah, that oil mustard uh, thing, like you had, you see Pani Ghatta in Nepal. I saw you send you those sir, videos. Sir, 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 I have drawn all the pictures about coal only. Okay, but uh, make sure uh, they all show the importance according to the points. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So this is a picture pause activity and you will, it will help you to remember in the form of pictures as well. Okay, is that clear? Yes, sir. So that's the importance of uh, traditional occupation and you'll have to do question number C of page number seven. And whatever is uh, you have done, you'll have to uh, post it in a... Uh, Sir, the homework will be question number C. Of page homework number will seven. be question number C of page number seven. And uh, Sir, one you did, or two or both. Question number two C. Two C. I'll write that in the Google Classroom. Okay, sir. But for now, I want to uh, help you to remember that. And next thing is, okay, sir. you will post the same picture. You'll take a photo of whatever you did, and you'll post it in the Google Classroom. 
uh, within uh, half an hour. I'll uh, keep a link for that uh, place. Okay, sir, not half an hour. How much time do you uh, think? Sir, the activity like the differences one also. Uh, difference uh, one activity also. Yeah, yes. Classwork also I will put. Okay, I'll give you time. Okay, till twelve o'clock. Sir, I will sir, I'll post everything. Sir, I will post everything that I've done today. Okay. Okay, all the classwork. Bye, sir. Okay, bye. Any more questions? And sir, uh, sir, sir, will you send the homework now or in the evening? You can uh, send it by evening. Okay, it will be too much rush for you. You might not have the mobile with you right now. Also, okay. Is that fine? And sir, will you send the assignment now? Because uh, I I will do it now only. Okay, but I will keep it right now. You can be sending it by uh, evening. Like whatever you did okay, in the sir. class, exactly. You don't have Bye, to uh, add too many things. That was in classwork for uh, just to see how much you picturize that. Okay, how was that okay, activity? Sir. Picture activity. Sir, very fun. Very sir, it was fun. Right? fun. Okay, so it will help you to remember also, and it's like an activity. Okay, anything? Any questions in importance? No, I'll sir. Did you the videos? Watch all those videos. And next class, if you have any question, you can okay, uh, come up with questions. Okay. okay. Thank you, class. Okay, sir. Bye, bye sir. sir. Bye. Bye. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Okay, bye. Uh, bye. Take care. See bye, you in the next sir. class.